In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Christ is risen. Alleluia. And he has overcome death. It's Easter Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Siamé, a selection of Don Bosco. Stay tuned. It is Thursday, the 18th of May, 2023, sixth week of Easter, and participating in the proclamation of the Word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Evelyn Kema from London, United Kingdom, celebrating her birthday today, takes for us the first reading. Eunice Kamuru, celebrating her birthday today from Ngong, Kenya, with her husband, take for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Paul Miringu from Nakuru Diocese in Kenya. Let us pray. O oh God, who made your people partakers in your redemption, grant we pray that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. He stayed with them, and they worked, and he argued in the synagogue. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Acts 18, verses 1 to 8. In those days, Paul left Athens and went to Corinth, and he found a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had commanded all the Jews to leave Rome. And he went to see them, and because he was of the same trade, he stayed with them, and they worked, for by trade they were tent makers. And he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and tried to persuade Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy arrived from Macedonia, Paul was occupied with preaching, testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus. When they opposed and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, Your blood be upon your heads. I am innocent. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. And he left there and went to the house of a man named Titus Justus, a worshipper of God. His house was next door to the synagogue. Crispus, the ruler of the synagogue, believed in the Lord, together with his entire household. And many of the Corinthians here in Paul believed and were baptized. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorio Psalm. Psalm 98, verse 1, 2, and 3ab, verse 3cd, and 4. Response is taken from Psalm 98, verse 2b. And the response is, the Lord has shown his deliverance to the nations. The Lord has shown his deliverance to the nations. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked waters. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has shown his deliverance to the nations. The Lord has made known his salvation has shown his deliverance to the nations. He has remembered his merciful love and his truth for the house of Israel. The Lord has shown his deliverance to the nations. All the heads of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing out your praise. The Lord has shown his deliverance to the nations. Gospel acclamation. John chapter 14, verse 18. Alleluia.
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you, and your hearts will rejoice. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John chapter 16, verse 16 to 20. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, A little while, and you'll see me no more. Again, a little while, and you'll see me. Some of his disciples said to one another, What is this that he says to us? A little while, and you'll not see me. And again, a little while, and you'll see me. And because I go to the Father, they said, what does he mean by a little while? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Is this what you are asking yourselves, what I meant by saying, a little while and you'll not see me, and again a little while and you'll see me? True ray, true ray, I say to you, you will weep and lament, but the world will rejoice. You'll be sorrowful, but your sorrow will turn into joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The focus of today's word is on a little while. It is an encouraging word. It is a word of strength. A little while occupied the apostles when Jesus was saying, in a little while you will see me, in a little while you will no longer see me. They were lost. They were lost. Why? Because they didn't understand by a little while. A little while that Jesus is referring to is the period of suffering. The period of suffering is not a lengthy period. It is a little while. It may look like a long while, but it is a little while. For a believer, nothing lasts forever. For a believer, no evil lasts for too long. It took only one day and a half for Jesus to come back to life. On the third day, he rose. That was a little while he was talking about. And so he told them, you know what? In a little while, you no longer see me. In a little while, you will see me again because Whatever will be for me is only for a while. You know, when we realize that what we go through on this earth is just for a while, we'll be in a position to bear with anything, any painful moment, because we know it is a passing phase. It will pass. And that reminds me of the king who wanted a statement that will pass the test of time. And he called all the wise men in the city. Please, if there is anyone who can give me a statement that will pass the test of time, I'm going to give that person half of my kingdom. And people started bringing those statements to just please the king. Oh, king, here is a statement that will last forever. You, king, will live forever. Say, sorry. Other kings have come and they have gone. That is not a statement that I can trust. Okay, oh, king, I have a statement that will last forever. Long live the king. Say, sorry. No matter how long you may wish I should live, that statement will not pass the test of time until one peasant, a man who was not even seen as a man of wisdom, came and said, I have a statement, O king, that will pass the test of time. And here is a statement, these two shall pass. 
when you are rejoicing, O oh king, you are enjoying yourself, and there's so much to treasure. Just say, this too shall pass. And you will not get attached to that enjoyment. When you are in pain, O oh king, you have lost your loved one, and there's so much pain in you. Just say to yourself, this too shall pass. And I am telling you, you will not be in sorrow for too long. When you have been broken because of a relationship that you thought would last and you feel really broken, you feel betrayed, just say, this too shall pass. And I'm telling you, you are not going to be in that painful moment for too long. This too shall pass is the little while we are talking about. That joblessness is a little while and it will pass. That childlessness is a little while and it will pass. Oh, I'm telling you, there is no problem, no trouble that lasts forever. It is just for a while. And I want to leave you with this message. I don't want to say too much today because I will spoil this message this too shall pass. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Thursday. To you. Thanks be to God. Oh, yeah.